I'm Ryan from ExtremeTerrain.com and today we're going to talk about winches, specifically the difference between a synthetic line and a steel cable, but also some of the other features of winches as well. We're out here in the middle of a two day wheeling trip as you can tell by all of the mud and the dirt on the Jeeps behind me. So make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to check out those videos. We did a build on a Dune JKU and a couple of other comparisons that I think you're really going to like. But today is all about winches, so let's get into it. So there are a couple of different decisions to make when purchasing a winch, but the biggest one is going to be the type of line that you want on your Jeep. Now, the traditional line is going to be a steel cable like this, and most of that line is going to be relatively the same diameter and have the same braking strength. It's going to be very, very strong. There are a couple of pros to having a steel line like this, and one of those is that they don't require a ton of maintenance. You don't really have to worry about them when they're on the front of your Jeep. You can run one, and until it starts to fray or start to look pretty ragged, you won't have to change it out. This is gonna hold up really well, and it's going to last a long time. Now, one of the big downsides to a steel cable is that while it's under load, it's stretched out, it's going to be storing energy, and if that line breaks under load, it's going to snap back, it can hit someone, it can cause damage, or injury and of course that's something that nobody wants to see there are ways to mitigate that by using a weight in the middle of the winch line to help be a little bit safer but you're never going to get rid of that problem but that is where a synthetic line comes into play this synthetic line is going to have roughly the same strength as a steel cable it's still going to stretch when it's under load just like steel will but if this were to break even under load it falls right to the ground it's completely harmless a couple of the other benefits to a synthetic line are the fact that it's a lighter weight it's not going to kink up or give you a splinter like a steel cable will and because it's lighter weight it's easier to drag up a steep hill especially when that hill is covered in mud now some of the downsides to synthetic is that it is a little bit more difficult to maintain you are going to have to make sure that you keep it nice and clean it's not going to last as long on the front of your Jeep and when you are changing it out it's also going to be more expensive than steel so definitely some trade-offs in my opinion synthetics the way to go it's worth spending a little bit extra money to make it even more useful and also a lot safer. Now, once you've decided what line you wanna choose, another decision that you'll have to make is going to be what weight capacity you want the winch to be able to pull. Now, the general rule of thumb for a winch is that it should pull about one and a half times of the loaded weight of your Jeep. So here we have a two-door JK. It's a pretty light Jeep. There's not a lot of armor on it. And we have this set up with a 9,500 pound winch from Barricade. Now, this winch is going to be more than enough for this size Jeep and this weight Jeep. If you do have a bigger four-door JK like this one is, or a four-door JK that's loaded down with a ton of armor, maybe you like to get your Jeep buried up to the axles in mud, then a higher pulling capacity is going to be what you want. And this has a 12,500 pound pulling capacity. So of course, this one is going to be a lot stronger. When you're looking at winches, a couple other things to consider are how waterproof they are. This is Rugged Ridge's Nautic winch. This is a new series of winches from Rugged Ridge. And this solenoid pack is completely waterproof and also dustproof. So if you have it mounted here, you dunk the Jeep underwater, you're driving and it's raining, you don't have to worry about water affecting these electronics. This one over here by Barricade, not as well sealed up. You'll actually see a lot of people mount these remotely, put them up under the hood to try and keep them dry because again, it's not going to be waterproof. The Nautic winch over here also is going to have a lot of cross bracing. If you actually get up close and you look at the body of this winch, it's going to look a lot beefier. It's going to be a lot stronger than that Barricade one because of that cross bracing that's built into it. Something else to consider with winches is going to be your line speed. Now, depending on how you use your winch, you're not going to be as concerned with having a really fast pull, although it is a nice convenience. Some of the more expensive winches on the market, even under load, are going to pull pretty quickly. Some of the less expensive, more budget-friendly winches are going to pull a little bit slower. Again, depending on how often you use your winch, that may or may not be a big consideration. Now, one of the newest things that winches are doing is coming with a wireless remote, and that's what we have here on this barricade winch. Up on the front here, you have a switch so you can turn the winch off completely, turn it on for the wired remote, or turn it on for the wireless remote. Now, the downside to a wireless remote is always that you have to keep batteries in it, but as long as you keep the batteries fresh, this is going to be a way that you can winch from inside the vehicle or a safe distance away without having to worry about being within 12 feet and having that tether. But 
your batteries die, you drop this in a mud puddle, you do have your backup of your wired remote, which is always really nice to have. Now this Rugged Ridge winch does not come with a wireless remote, but they do give you a remote that has a nice long 12 foot cable so you can stay well out of the way of the danger zone while you're winching. I do really like this remote. As you can see, it has a really substantial toggle switch on it. It feels pretty good in your hand. Some of the less expensive winches on the market, they feel really cheap. It feels like you're gonna break this thing even if you just have it thrown in your center console. So that's something that I really do like about this winch. Now, as far as winches go, they're all really going to install in a very similar fashion. You are going to have to either install a winch mounting plate on your factory bumper or have a winch ready bumper like we have on both of these Jeeps here with us. But once you have that in place, these are just gonna bolt down with four bolts and there's only really two wires that you have to run up to your battery to get these things powered. So the install is going to be pretty simple and you can have a winch installed on your Jeep to get you out of a sticky situation pretty easily and pretty quickly. What we're gonna do now is actually take these things out hook them up and show you how they pull. Of course, it's gonna be pretty similar in this comparison, but I do wanna show you a couple of different ins and outs between these winches. Now we got ourselves midway up this trail. This is a spot that you may very well get stuck. These rocks are really slick. Maybe you broke something. We probably could have made it the rest of the way up this, but I do want to show you how you use these winches in the real world and some of the benefits to having synthetic versus steel and vice versa. So when you are working with a steel cable, you always want to have a pair of gloves with you. Synthetic as well, but steel is much less forgiving. Even if you don't have a frayed line, which of course you shouldn't be winching with a frayed line anyway, you can still get pinched bit end up bleeding from a steel line very very easily and very very quickly so we are going to have gloves on that is first and foremost now any winch these days is going to have both an engage setting and a free spool setting so we can put this in the free spool setting just by adjusting the clutch here and that's going to make make it very easy for us to pull out this line all the way up to the tree we're going to hook to so we got ourselves up to the tree that we're going to hook to of course Anytime you are winching off of a tree, you do want to use a tree saver. So the next step is going to be taking the tension up on the line, taking the slack out. I'm going to go do that now, and you might wonder why I'm bringing the rest of my recovery bag and this D-ring with me. What I'm actually going to do is take the line here, and I'm going to use this D-ring to attach the rest of my recovery bag onto the line. The idea is that if the line snaps, it's going to hit this point where there's weight on it, and it's going to then fall to the ground. It's still not going to be as safe as a synthetic line, but this is one of those things that you want to do every time you're using a steel cable to add a little bit of safety. So now that we've done that, we can take up the slack on this line. I just have to go over to the winch and turn it on wireless mode. We're gonna go ahead and spool the winch in a little bit. So now we're set up and we're ready to go. It's time to actually do the pull. I'm gonna take the wireless remote up around the corner here, get myself into a safe location just in case anything were to happen to this winch line. We do have Eric still inside the Jeep. With this wireless remote, he would be able to very easily control the winch from inside the Jeep if you're winching by himself or of course stretch the cable, use that one. But because we're both here, I'm gonna do this, he's gonna do that, and we'll get this Jeep up the hill. I'm gonna go slide our bag forward a little bit so it doesn't get stuck up in the fair lead. Okay, so we'll have Eric hold on the brake, we'll take the tension off the line, spool the rest of the way in, and we'll be back on our way. So now we have the next Jeep in the lineup. Again, probably could have made it up this hill, but we got them stopped here so we can show you some of the differences between that barricade winch with the steel line and this rugged ridge winch with the synthetic line. So with the synthetic line, you don't have to be as worried about pinches, about splinters, but gloves are always a good idea anyway. And the first step is going to be popping this winch into free spool mode and pulling the line up to the tree. Now that we're up here, go ahead and clip it in on our tree saver that we already have set up from the last pool. Now we can head back down and take up the tension on the line. So we'll go ahead and get the, uh, get the remote hooked up here. Now we can go ahead and bump in the winch line, put a little bit of tension on it. And we're not gonna use a flag on this line because again, that synthetic line is going to be safe. It's not gonna snap. If it were to break, it's not gonna snap back. It'll just fall to the ground nice and safely. And it does make it for an easier setup as well. I'm gonna stand to the side just to be safe, get out of Dan's way here. Go ahead and bump this in. What I am gonna do is give Dan the remote. He can handle the actual winching in, just make sure it's not gonna get bound up on anything, this 12 foot cable here. 
I'm gonna go up top to the hill. That way I can keep an eye on the rigging and I can also spot for Dan. Of course here, not much he's gonna get hung up on, but in a tougher situation, having a spotter in front of you is definitely gonna be helpful. All right, we got him to a pretty good spot. You can stop there, Dan. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the remote back from Dan again. I'll take the tension off the line, clean things up, and he can be on his way up the trail. So that's it for this video. Obviously, there are a lot of decisions to make when purchasing a winch, not the least of which is whether to get the steel cable or spend the extra money for the synthetic. I gave you my opinion on both and a few of the pros and cons. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have other videos like this, some great Jeep content, and you'll be able to see the other videos that we shot this weekend while we were out on the trail.